Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number 35, search insert position. This is an easy level problem on leak code and we're going to solve it in JavaScript. Given a sorted array of distinct integers and a target value, return the index if the target is found. If not, return the index where it would be if it were inserted in order. So for this example, we have nums array, one, three, five, six, the target is five. Five is in there and it's the second index of it. And this is another example where the target is two and two is not indexed, but it would go in the first index value. So the output is one. So how we're gonna solve this is that we need to, we need to loop through this array to compare the number to find the information. So first loop through nums array. So when we're in this loop, what we're gonna do, we have to compare the, each index to the target. So we have to create a condition if target is equal to, let's see if it's equal to, but also if it's not there, where would it be? And for this example, when it gets to two, this would be the first one. So we have to loop into it if it's equal to it or it gets greater than it. So is if target, if nums index of i is greater than or equal to the target. Once we get that, we'll get what we need, the index we need. And if it is true, if true, we return i. So that will give you the output, the index of the array. We don't, and this will cover the edge case if it's the first value as well, zero, because num zero is greater than i, return i will be zero. And now we have to get the other edge case of it if it's at the end of it. So this is at the end of it. We're not gonna get it through this loop. So we have to, outside of this loop, we return, nums dot length because that's going to give us the end of it, which is what we need. So to put it in code, we do let not for let i equals zero i's less than nums dot length i plus plus and inside of it we have to have the condition if nums index of i is greater than or equal to target return i. And if we can't find it inside of this loop, we return nums dot length. Great, we got it. So for the complexities, time complexity we know that we're doing a loop so it's going to be o of n and for the space complexity since we're just create uh ob constant since we're not really taking up any space o of 1 and that is how you solve this problem. Thank you.